Well, isn't the weatherman ironic? On a day that we come out to talk about solar backpacks, it decides to rain. I am out at Boy Kahong Primary in Rustenburg, where a rather unique company called Repurpose has come up with a bright solution for a dark problem. It is amazing how innovative people can be and how technology can enable kids to learn as well. And actually, rather stylishly so. I'm with Franz Mabena, who is the principal at Boy Kahong Primary. France, the time that the kids leave school versus the time that they need for the solar backpacks to charge is actually quite important. Yeah, definitely, because when we leave, when they will be leaving the school, it would be around uh, half past two. And then it's when that time is very, very important for the light to be absorbed by the, the solar panel. When immediately when they got home, then during the night, if there is no electricity, they'll be able to use the charge solar panels to light their house, their homes. Speaking of which, I mean, that must come in quite handy for a number of things. How do you find they utilize those backpacks even more? Those uh, uh, bags would be utilized even at school because present we don't have electricity in the, in the classrooms. So they are able to light those solar panels in the, inside the classroom. Franz, thank you so much for allowing me to take you out of the office while you're on big boss duties. But I'm actually going to nip off to the factory to see exactly how these solar backpacks are made. Each bag contains a space where a mini solar panel slides into. This panel charges during the child's walk to and from school when there's sun, of course. Once charged, the solar panel is removed and then transformed into a solar lantern that provides up to 12 hours of light for studying. It's no doubt that these solar backpacks put some serious light on the subject and that's why I'm here to kind of just find out how this all comes together and who exactly is behind the machine. So first up, I'm meeting the lovely Mimi. Nice to meet you, ma'am. <laughs> oh, so cool, Mimi. <laughs> but thank you. You're welcome. I can see that this is clearly our starting point. Yes. So what happens from here on out? They brought our plastic into branded hallways spa checkers and then we sort them into colors this is julia my partner in crime is gonna show you how to take the brands out so that restores everything to a neutral place okay. in the factory and your design just becomes more workable yes all right now from bleaching to some serious washing and elbow grease going down here yes <laughs> After taking out the brands, mm -hmm. Auntie Paulina is taking is uh, rinsing it to make it nice and clean. From the line to Auntie Hunzi. Auntie Hunzi, am I saying it correctly? Yes, you say okay. it correctly. Okay. Then he's gonna that. show us how the dick is gonna cut the pattern into ten. Now, Mimi, I don't know too much about your factory, but I can tell that this is an iron of epic proportions. Oh, yes, it is the heat that comes there. Hey, this is where the heat is, the yes, hot spot. The hot spot. <laughs> All right, so tell me more. So, Ma Mukwene is going to show us how to iron. Mimi, from the hot iron, I spot a lady in a hot pink, pink. hat. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and why do I get the feeling that she might just be queen of this jungle? Oh, he is a queen of a jungle. <laughs> <laughs> Maria, what exactly is it that you do in the factory? Cutting, cutting. Okay. Mm. I also make uh, uh, different colors um, and mix them. I can't wow. make only one color. Yes. I just take pink and yellow, yellow and... Black, white. black and white. And just so like actually, that. part pattern maker, part designer too, oh, right? Yes. <laughs> we designer. love your work, Maria. Yes, she's the designer. Yeah, I'm designer. Don't forget it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now all of that, the washing, the bleaching, the pattern making and yes. cutting must come together at some point. Oh yes, <laughs> must do something out. So, Mama Paulina is the one who's doing everything, he's doing the mesh, then he's gonna do the bag, knit it. Now Mimi, after all that, I would like to believe that there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Oh yes, <laughs> there is. You can breathe now and say, yes, there's a bag. Yes, here's a bag, the final finished product, but there's a 
very important part that still needs to go into this bag, oh, which yes. is actually from the console jar, which is this little thing. And it's a solar so, panel, right? Oh, yes. Mm. Okay. Where exactly and how exactly does that go okay, in? I'm going to show you. And then you close it. Mm -hmm. And then there you go. Wow, mm. that is so cool. Off I go. Looking stylish and being efficient all at the same time. And I don't think that you're going to get this backpack back. No, 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 no. 